Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is just going to be a, a quick one, um, just to help people get some money in Shemu. Uh, this is still the best way of doing it in 2023. Uh, it's had quite a nerf. Uh, they've changed the, the price of things to make life a bit harder for people. But this is still the best way that I can figure out. I mean, if any of you guys can think of a better way of doing it, please let me know. Right, so the first method is... Uh, the first place to come to is the Golden Buddha. Okay, it's pretty obvious here. Why well, it's called the Golden Excuse Buddha. Excuse me. Now, you need... The way I, I, I've, I got it memorised in my head, so that we need one from this shop, three from the next, and two from the last. Okay, items from each. So I'm going to buy quite a few of these because um, I need some money for a speed run attempt. I'll try and be as quick as possible. There we go. 100 of those from there. Thank you. Next, we're going to do a, a bit of a trek through the parade at the prom promenade. Sorry, parade. Don't know why I said that. Okay, up here to the right, and the next bit of shop is right here. The best way. Right, so we need these three. That one, that one, that one. This is how I remember it. <coughs> one, three, two. One item from one shop, three from the next, two from the last. And this is the ceramic R hat. The ceramic R hat, the copper statue of a military officer, and a wooden Tavagata. Uh, they're the ones that you want to get from this one. The first shop, it was just the first item on the list. done this once already so my hand's getting a bit tired. Right. Buddha will so we've got one more shop to visit. You get a bit of a routine from doing this, it's not actually that bad. The worst bit is actually handing all the items in at the end. But this sure as hell be beats the hell out of uh, gambling. Oops. Here. And then this is the last shop, and we need the gold wise man standing and the gold hermit standing. The first two items on the list. Of those. So you can see it costs quite a bit. But you'll see in a minute how much money you actually get back from it once I've handed everything in. Hundred of those. I'm right. Now we gotta to go to a pawn shop. Uh, 
this pawn shop. The cash first pawn shop. The first thing you want to do is exchange all of those items that we've just got. You go down to other sets, and then go to R, the right trigger, press right trigger once, and then we go down to where all the statues are, and click on the tiger thigh, and press Y to exchange. And I'm going to have to do this a hundred times. So... I shall be back in a minute. Okay, we've got all of those. Now we speak to the same guy again. Can I help you? With the Let's X button. Show me to, if you, have... you know, if you want to buy and sell stuff. Um, click on sell this time. Oh, give... Go down to skill books. The ones that we just exchanged. And hand... All of those in, all the hundred, or however many you've got. If you if you haven't got a lot of money, obviously start off small. Start off with maybe ten books. Uh, ten books. Uh, ten statues. Then do twenty. You know, keep going up until you've got enough money to cover it. To cover the purchase in the first place. It always makes you keep one book because you use that one for training. Uh, just so you know, so you always have one left over. Sixteen thousand. I got for 100 st of each of those statues, which is quite a profit. And there we go, and that is the best way at the moment, as far as I know. Like I said at the start, if anyone knows of a better way of making money, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.